Okay, children. Now let us see another method, that is step deviation method, to find the arithmetic mean of classified data. Okay, children. Take heading step deviation method. You can see the same thing on the screen. In step deviation method, formula for mean is mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma f i u i by sigma f i into h. This is the formula to find the mean of classified data. by using step deviation method when we have to apply the formula to find the mean of classified data we have to know the literal terms of the formula children so, what are the literal terms in this formula very good a it is already known to us assumed mean or arbitrary mean as usually assumed mean is taken from mid values of the classes of the data one of the mid value of the classes can be considered as assumed mean of the data and next sigma fi ui by sigma fi into h fi is nothing but frequency of the classes and sigma fi means sum of frequencies and ui is there ui is there ui means you can take xi minus a by h this is the formula for ui already we know xi minus a that is the deviation of each assumed mean from mid values this is xi minus a we have to divide it by h what is h in the formula h is nothing but height of the classes or length of the classes how can we find the length of the classes or height of the classes it is nothing but the difference between lower or upper limits boundaries of the consecutive classes this is the height of the classes okay once again let us understand the literal terms say children a is assumed mean and fi is frequency of the classes ui is equal to xi minus a by h here x i is the mid value of the classes and a is assumed mean h is the height of the classes and sigma f i is sum of frequencies or number of observation this is the formula to find uh, the mean of the classified data by using step deviation method children already we discussed your direct method and assumed mean method now we are discussing step deviation method what is the use of step deviation method okay children when the numerical values of the data are smaller we use direct method when the numerical values of the data are larger we use assumed mean method or step deviation method in these two method assumed and step deviation methods step deviation is more convenient method it makes the larger values of the data in an easy way and we can calculate very easily this is the step deviation method okay children let us understand the step deviation method to find the arithmetic mean by taking an example okay children let us take ninth problem from 14.1 exercise to understand the step deviation method okay children see the ninth problem here the question is given as the following table gives the literacy rate of 35 cities find the mean literacy rate here the table is given as in the first row literacy rate in percentage and second row number of cities here are the three cities with 45 to 55 percent literacy percentage and 10 cities with 55 to 65 literacy percentage 11 cities 65 to 75 literacy percentage and 8 cities 75 to 85 literacy percentage and three cities 85 to 95 literacy percentage this is the question we have to find the mean of this classified data by using step deviation method that means here, here we have to find uh, the mean literacy percentage of 35 cities okay children when we solve this problem we take uh, the same table in the vertical manner you can see the same thing on the screen in the first column we take literacy percentage that is nothing but class interval the class intervals are 45 to 55 55 to 65 65 to 75 75 to 85 and 85 to 95 in the second column we take uh, Uh, number of uh, cities this is nothing but frequency we write f5 
the corresponding frequencies of each classes are 3, 10, 11, 8, 3. Okay, these are the frequencies. Okay, children, here the formula to find the mean step deviation method is mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi u by sigma fi into x. Here the first thing is assumed mean. Assumed mean is the one of the mid values of the classes. So, we should know the mid values of each class. So, in the third column, we take mid values that is x i. Already, as we discussed, mid value is nothing but lower limit plus upper limit by 2. Very good. Here, the first class is 45 to 55. Here, the lower limit 45, upper limit 55. 45 plus 55 by 2. This is the mid value of the first class. 45 plus 55 is nothing but 100. 100 by 2. That is the 50, 50, the first mid value and second mid value 55 plus 65 by 2, that is 120 by 2, that is 60. This is the second mid value of the second class and uh, let us find the mid value of the third class. What is the third class here? 65 to 75. Here lower limit 65, upper limit 75, 65 plus 75, that is 140 by 270. This is the mid value of the third class. And the remaining mid values are similarly 80 and 90. These are the mid values. Okay, children, after getting mid values, one of these mid values is considered as the assumed mean. As we discussed in the last class, assumed mean is taken as mid observation or mid value in all the mid values. So, here the mid value in all these mid values is 70. So, 70 can be considered as assumed mean. So, we write A here. Okay, children. Is it compulsory to take the middle mid value as assumed mean? Okay, very good. No. Whatever the mid value is considered as assumed mean, we get the same answer. Okay, children. Now, in the form A plus sigma Fi Ui by sigma Fi into H, we got small a fi is nothing but frequency ui we have formula to ui what is that in fourth column we write ui is called xi minus a by h okay children here h means height of the classes let us calculate height of the classes as we discussed height of the classes is nothing but difference between lower or upper limit boundaries of two consecutive classes here two consecutive classes C 45 to 55, 55 to 65. Here 45, 55 difference is 10. 55, 65 difference is 10. And similarly, any each two consecutive classes are taken the difference between these two upper and lower boundaries of the classes is 10. 55 minus 55, 65 difference 10. 65, 75 difference is 10. Here height of the classes is 10. Okay, children, UI is called XI minus A by H. Here H is Okay, children, let us find the ui of first class. Children, xi minus a. Here, what is the xi of the first class? 50 minus. What is assumed mean a? Very good, 70. 50 minus 70 by h. h is 10. 50 minus 70 by 10. That is minus 20 by 10. 10 1 is 10 2. We get the first ui of first class is minus 2. Similarly, we get second, UI of second class. Okay, children, let us take uh, UI of uh, second class. See, what is the mid value of the second class? Very good, 60 minus. What is the A here? A is always 70. 60 minus 70 by H value 10. 60 minus 70 by 10. That is minus 10 by 10. We get minus 1. Okay, let us calculate third uh, UI of third class. Okay, here third mid value is 70 and assumed mean is also 70. So, ui of third class is 70 minus 70 by h is 10. 70 minus 70 by 10, we get 0 by 10, that is 0. Similarly, we find uh, remaining uh, uis of uh, the consecutive classes, they are 1 and 2. See, all the ui values of each classes are minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. When you observe this, the corresponding UI of assumed mean is 0 and upwards minus 1, minus 2 and downwards 1 and 2. 
further problems we need not to find uh, ui like this just we take uh, ui value corresponded to assumed mean zero and upwards minus one minus two and downwards one two okay children as uh, next we take in the fifth column fi ui here fi of first class is three and ui of first class is minus two three into minus two we get minus six similarly the second class fi ui value is 10 into minus 1 we get minus 10 and the remaining are 11 into 0 0 and 8 1 ja 8 and the last fi ui value is 3 2 ja 6 these are all fi ui values we can get in fifth column sigma fi ui means sum of all these when we add minus 6 minus 10 0 8 6 we get sigma fi ui is equal to minus 2 and sum of frequency sigma fi we add all the observation all the numerical values of second column we get sigma fi sigma fi sum of frequencies is equal to 35 okay children now we go for the formula in step deviation method mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi ui by sigma fi what is a value here children very good the small a value assumed mean is 70 plus sigma fi ui value very good minus 2 we write in the bracket and by sigma fi value is 35 and into height of the class is 10 ok children here 5 to 10 5 7 ja 35 now we get you can see the same thing on the screen 70 plus bracket minus 2 into 2 4 by 7 in the next step 70 plus into minus minus 4 by 7 when we divide 4 by 7 we get 0 0.57 now 70 minus 0 0.57 we get 69.40 this is the main literacy percentage of 35 cities is 69.43 that is nothing but 69 percent this is the way to find the mean of the given classified data by using step deviation method okay thank you